how do you treat these patients so what is the problem in this individual that is the coronary vasospasm so what you need to do you need to do uh, coronary arterial vasodilatation so what is the drug of choice the drug of choice will be the nitrates okay but one point is that nitrates you have some contraindications systolic blood pressure less than 90 millimeters of mercury or when the patient is taking phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitors like sildenafil and all you should not give nitrates so the other alternative drugs will be the calcium channel blockers okay so these calcium channel blockers they include diltiazem or verapamil okay right so these are considered as the drug of choice actually it is nitrates first the alternative will be the calcium channel blockers and what about supplementation of aspirin in this individual you observe here you take all the cases of the coronary artery disease right you take in case of stable angina you take in case of unstable angina non-ST elevation MI and as well as the ST elevation MI in all these conditions we supplement aspirin but in case of Prince metal angina the aspirin should be avoided why I'll tell you so in patients with Prince metal angina the aspirin should be avoided now what is the reason why the aspirin should be avoided aspirin is which group of drug it is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug so being a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug it can cause alteration in the levels of the prostacyclin right because it can cause the alteration in the levels of the prostacyclin this prostacyclin when it is being altered that will affect the sensitivity of the coronary tone right that will affect the sensitivity of the coronary tone now because it affects the sensitivity of the coronary tone that is the reason why aspirin should not be given okay next next is the statin therapy right which is nothing but your hmg coa reductase inhibitors so statin they are found to have you know pleiotropic effect right and this particular statin therapy reduces the risk of the major events right it reduces the risk of the major events okay what exactly is the mechanism is not known but it will reduce the risk of the major events and the other group of drugs are the beta blockers so if you take this beta blockers the response to the beta blockers in case of the prince metal angina it is variable but whereas if you take these beta blockers they are considered as the drug of choice in patients with a chronic stable angina but response in case of prince metal angina it is variable then what about the invasive therapy right does these patients require any invasive therapy so remember coronary revascularization has to be planned but when will you plan this coronary revascularization is this coronary revascularization is helpful in patients who are having discrete right who are having discrete that means only in one area there is spasm if there is discrete flow limiting right because of this discrete vasospasm there is limitation of the flow and this particular discrete vasospasm should be there in the proximal part of the coronary artery so proximal fixed obstructive lesions right fixed obstructive lesions so this is about your coronary revascularization so that means when will you do a coronary revascularization is if there is discrete flow limiting proximal fix, fixed obstructive lesion then you have to go ahead with the coronary revascularization then in these patients with the prince metal angina what is the indication of icd right what is the point when you need to introduce implantable cardioverter defibrillator that is because of this transient coronary vasospasm what is happening there is development of ischemia right and if this ischemic area if it is inducing vt or vf that is during the time of chest pain if the patient is having vt or vf despite maximal medical medical therapy okay despite maximal medical therapy if the individual is having the development of vt or vf then 
this is an indication for implantable cardioverter defibrillator okay so that is about the treatment so drug of choice will be nitrates the alternative drugs will be calcium channel blockers right the supplementation of beta blockers response is variable aspirin should not be given the statins they are also having good efficacy in patients with principal angina but what exactly is the mechanism is not known